have you included women in your subsequent social mobility studies? And has that affected yes. conclusions from earlier studies? Yeah. Well, we did include uh, women to later stage, and this is in the second edition of my uh, book um, on social mobility and class structure in Britain. Uh, by that time, um, we could take more data from the British uh, general uh, election studies to uh, deal with women's mobility. And uh, the short answer is that uh, so far as intergenerational mobility is concerned, the patterns were <clears throat> essentially the same as for men. Uh, so none of the major conclusions from the first edition had to be changed. I mean, women like men across the cohorts we studied had increasing chances of upward mobility that was almost entirely due to the marginal effects, the changing shape of the class structure. There's more room at the top, so like men, they, they moved up. Um, they didn't uh, enter the um, higher level professional and managerial positions to the same extent, but still the clear pattern was for upward mobility, uh, thinking in absolute terms. When you came to look at the uh, relative rates, then for women, just as for men, these were essentially stable uh, across the cohorts. And there was no very great difference in the degree of fluidity between men and women.